Charlie is... There he is. Good stuff. Charlie, look, I'm sorry, but this story makes me genuinely angry. Let's just deal first things first, OK? They wouldn't have acted like this if it was the Bible, would they? No, uh, it wouldn't have even come up for conversation. We don't have a blasphemy law in this country, thank the bloody Lord. Anyway, but the point is, Paddy, there's, there's been a lot of mistakes made here. The first one is that the t whoever it was got wind of this has told the headmaster, and the headmaster and the, and the school, they've made a decision, the totally the wrong decision. They could have kept this in-house. The police have tagged along with it because they're scared shitless of the local community. And I believe the local community, and I have made one phone call on this, I, I believe that the local um, the heads of the Muslim faith in the area have made a mistake. We all know that everybody is egging on these protests. We've seen it with cinemas. Not 10 miles from this school, there is a teacher who has gone into hiding, fearful of his life. I think there was an opportunity missed here by the Omans or whatever they are, and I apologize for not getting their titles right. They could have actually they could have actually spoken up and said, listen, we have dealt yeah. with this. It's fine. It was a school child. Let us now get on with our life. We are teaching respect to, to people. Yeah. But they've missed the trick because quietly somebody in the background is on the phone stoking this up, and it will not end well, Paddy, because let me tell you, Eventually, they will get the result they want, and some right wing lunatic will take advantage of this, mm. and they'll be clapping their bloody hands. I'm well, I, I, I am incredibly worried about that, Charlie. The fact is, right, that Muslims or anyone from any religion in this country does not have protection from being offended. They don't have the right to not be offended, do they? No. And I mean, that, that, that is, sadly, I'm afraid that is going to disappear and within our lifetimes. I can just see it because we are following this agenda, uh, hook, line and sinker. And I'm telling you, it will not end well. If you imagine, and it's, I, I digress slightly, mm -hmm. but the gentle folk of the Republic of Ireland are now starting to rise up and say, Oi, start listening to us. Start mm. listening to us on, on the subject of illegal immigration. I'm telling you what, somewhere along the line, be it in Batley or be it anywhere else, somebody is going to start saying, Oi, listen to us, and it will not end well. And unfortunately, it will play into the arms of the people, the fundamentalist people who are not shy about coming forward the thing for is a war. The thing is, the thing is, Charlie, that the police clearly, and we've seen this numerous times, and we did see it with grooming gangs as well, they were far too afraid of stoking racial tensions to actually do anything. Now the police have got involved. They felt the necessity for the mother of this autistic boy, who, let's be honest, I mean, barely even damaged a Koran, anyway, to go to a mosque. The police have supposedly gone to a mosque. They've had to satisfy, get this, a group of adults, right, that they are taking seriously the idea that a child in a school might have scuffed their religious book. I mean, some would argue that that in itself is laughable, but the real core reason behind this is because they don't want to offend people.